Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. My name is Grace. If you're new here, I am a realistic uh, lifestyle fitness type vlogger and I have not filmed in about three weeks, nor have I been to the gym in about that time. So I'm at the gym now. Happy New Year. It is New Year's Day, January 1st, 2024 at approximately 829. And I thought that it would be packed here this morning at the gym, but it's not. So I think I kind of overestimated how many newbie gym comers there might be. Um, I'm a little nervous. I know I, I'm probably going to get my butt kicked uh, because I have not been here. I do want to chat some more, but I am pretty eager to get in and just get this out of the way. Um, I'm going to pick up some breakfast, I think, on the way home. Uh, Joe has the day off because it's a national holiday. So let's go get this lift and then we'll talk some more in a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, I've tried filming this now like a handful of times. I'm definitely not in my groove right now. It's been like three weeks since I've filmed and spoke to the camera. In the gym, I tweaked my lower back um, doing conventional deadlifts. That was my first exercise and I had to move on from the bar. I couldn't, I couldn't do any more even if I lowered the weight. Um, so the rest of my workout was me doing exercises where I didn't need to hinge at the waist. That felt really embarrassing. I felt especially vulnerable since that was like my first time back in the gym in weeks. It was my first time filming in weeks. This is my first time talking to the camera in weeks. And it's definitely a little hard, a little frustrating. I've probably done like five takes before this. But that doesn't matter because I'm here and I'm showing up. And what I really wanted to hop on here and talk about isn't resolutions. It isn't talking about the gym necessarily. I wanted to reflect on my word of the year for 2023. Honestly, in the past when I've done words of the year for myself where I've selected a word, it's been kind of woo-woo. It's been like, I remember a couple years ago, rise was my word of the year. And I thought I would be able to add context to that word throughout the year and kind of reach a level of self-discovery through the word rise. And then there's been other like kind of woo-woo words that I've picked for my word of the year. But for 2023, my word of the year was momentum. The word momentum has been an actual mantra that I've been able to take and like metaphorically run with. I have started this journey with lifting weights, with going to the gym consistently in January of 2023. Actually, January 1st, I was one of those like New Year's resolutioners. Um, I downloaded the Alive app by Whitney Simmons and I would just follow along four or five days a week. And over time, over weeks and over months, I have been able to identify as someone who goes to the gym as a, as a lifter, as, as that type of person, which in past years, I wouldn't have ever thought I would be where I am now. And momentum as a mantra has been even more than that. During COVID, during lockdown, I think I lost a part of my, my pride, my, I lost some love for myself. And for years I had stopped wearing makeup. I kind of gave up on my nutrition. Um, I stopped putting in my contacts and now having started taking care of myself by going to the gym and by putting in that time and showing up for myself, it's steadily snowballed into, you know, my caring for my appearance in other ways. So I've started, you know, self tanning. I've been really enjoying, I don't have nails on now, but I've been having fun with that, taking care of my skin and my hair. Momentum hasn't just been going to the gym and working out. It's been taking care of myself on almost every level, both 
physically, mentally, you know, returning to therapy and taking care of myself just really in every sense of the word. So momentum has been, I think, a perfect word to encompass 2023 for me. And going into 2024, I really do want to focus more on my nutrition. I'm not going to be rattling off resolutions here. That's not what I plan to do, but I just want to enter 2024 with a new word that I can take and run with just like I did with Momentum. And my chosen word for 2024 is autonomy. And for me, that word means self-discipline, um, taking control of my life and maybe not being so much led by forces outside myself, whether it be the opinions of others, people within even my close circle. For me, autonomy means taking back my, my power. I am going to be applying that more so towards my performance-based goals, like I'd said, and nutrition as well. That's something I definitely want to be like overhauling at this point. I know that my eating habits have been holding me back. I've been taking supplements and I know that my most popular video, um, the one that has really gotten me any sort of attention at all, has been my berberine for weight loss. I still think that supplement is great. Um, I would say that if you're someone who uh, genetically is uh, predisposition towards diabetes or um, any sort of blood sugar issues, definitely talk to your doctor. I'm not giving any medical advice here, but I have found that berberine for me has really helped with my cravings and has also has really helped with my energy after having carb heavy meals. Basically in 2024, I'm going to be applying this new word of the year autonomy towards my nutrition and self-discipline when it comes to what it is I'm consuming. I'm going to be keeping this video short and sweet because honestly my mental bandwidth for diving into content creation again after a few weeks off I just want to kind of keep it simple and make it less daunting to you know re-enter that space so in 2024 in the coming weeks I'm going to be doing some more evergreen type videos ones that uh, focus more on like my my routines, uh, what I eat in a day. But for now, I'm gonna sign off. Happy New Year and talk to you soon.